These are so hard to find. I'm so sorry, guys. It actually works. I actually never knew that. 500 pounds. <laughs> Today, I am showing you my entire collection of Toy Story toys. Toy Story 5 is coming out and obviously I'm insanely excited for it. And to celebrate me buying more Toy Story toys, I thought I'd show you my old Toy Story toys. This is my entire collection, but I don't have them all yet, which is another issue in itself. Maybe at the end of the video, we should purchase all the others. Of course, like what was I expecting? Of course it's gonna be super expensive. Buzz Lightyear. I love this film, by the way. And obviously, a super detailed Buzz Lightyear figure came out, so I had to get it. It's not really like a Toy Story toy, but I got excited, so I got it. So if you guys have seen my other Toy Story unboxing videos, you'll, you'll know the difference of quality. And this, my friends, is the Toy Story Signature Collection. Every Toy Story toy I've got is either screen accurate or very high quality. Either way, they have to be screen accurate, else what's the point? Uh, this is too big. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down like... I'm gonna have too many. I know it already. I'm gonna put it here. Uh, these are the green aliens. These are very exciting for me because these are super cool. So unfortunately, there isn't a screen accurate Zerg yet. I don't know if there ever will be one, but this is like from the Disney store and I thought it was actually kind of amazing. So I got it anyway. It's not a signature collection, which I usually refrain from getting uh, the Disney store ones because they're cheap. They're supposed to be kids toys. But this was perfect. What I also have is three little aliens anyway, because we love the aliens. Just wanted them out of the box, so I got some out of the box. I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be a 10. So this is Barbie and Ken from Toy Story 3. First time I've ever bought a Barbie doll, by the way, just so you're aware. Yeah, these were cool. These were also awesome. these these again on the signature collection. <laughs> They're pretty much it. Like, like these are screen accurate. I don't care what anyone says. Like, you don't need a signature collection version of Barbie and Ken because they're just Barbie and Ken. I'm just Ken. So these are really cool. This isn't like a Toy Story thing. This is just an etch a sketch. This is another thing is like some of these on you know the high quality signature collection, but they're just toys they released when Toy Story One was out. So this is Lenny from Toy Story One. But what this is is an exclusive toy from Disney. Disney on ice and it's the exact same scale it's the exact same look it actually works I actually never knew that these are so hard to get it's unbelievable this is good old Forky he looks great and we also have this guy from Toy Story 1 I don't know his name the Bucket of Soldiers and this has certificate of authenticity which I actually need to take out of the world collection as I'm growing but it has the parachutes it has the army men this is super cool. It's just a bucket full of soldiers. And I found this at a charity shop. And this is the Toy Story Signature Collection. Obviously, we love a bit of Buzz Lightyear. So this is Buzz Lightyear still in the box. This isn't the Signature Collection. It's the Toy Story Collection. The Signature Collection are very different. They're just a little bit high quality, more lifelike, more uh, screen accurate. The, the Signature Collection is yellow and the Standard Collection is white. I think we're going to have too many figures. Mike was from the first film, but again, this is so hard to find. Uh, I don't know if he's working, but <laughs> that, that was such an important find for me because Toy Story 1 toys are just the ones to get. We have Twitch from Toy Story 3, again, signature collection, again, screen accurate. Maybe this is getting a bit too obsessive. It's the Magic 8 Ball, the robot from Toy Story 3. Phone, the preschool phone from Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Again, this wasn't just made for Toy Story, it was, it was an actual toy and it just completes the collection of Toy Story 1, right? We have to have the preschool version. Keep watching because at the end of the video, I'm going to be scouring the internet trying to complete my collection and maybe buying them. So we're moving on to something very important here. I loved more than anything Wheezy. We all loved Wheezy from Toy Story 2, but there was never a screen accurate Wheezy. There's a guy on Instagram that I will share down below who makes custom made Wheezies with the squeaker. Obviously it's perfect and like the amount of joy having Wheezy in my collection, the screen accurate Wheezy, it literally makes me like there is nothing cooler than that. Ducky from Toy Story 4. Finding a Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story 2 with the belt was the coolest thing for me and I'm so happy I found him. I know I'm saying all of these things are my proudest achievements but to be honest most of them are. This is one of my Proudest, proudest, proudest achievements. RC with the antenna 
with the device. I don't have the box, I wish I had the box, but it's so expensive. These are so hard to find at such a low rate. It's amazing, it looks so cool. This table is getting full and there's, I've got so much more to show you. So this is Ducky's box and I don't know why I'm showing you the box. I'm trying to also collect all the boxes that they come in. This is Slinky Dog. This isn't a signature collection, there isn't one, um, but this is from the Disney store. There is literally no point having a signature collection Slinky Dog because he's perfect, he looks so good. So if we put Woody here, you can really tell the quality difference from the signature collection Woody and Jesse and just the Disney store collection Woody and Jesse. They just look so good. We, we love a bit of Woody and Jesse. I have both Peep and her sheep. Like these are the signature collection and you can tell like there's like, the dress is such high quality. The face is amazing. Let's put you guys over here. I also have a Mr. Potato Head and a Mrs. Potato Head. Mrs. Potato Head is from the Disney store, the signature collection Potato Head. And a funny story with Mr. Potato Head, so I got him in parts. I never bought him as a complete set. I bought him as the potato, hat, ears, and mouth. And then I spent years trying to get his, the mustache was the hardest part to get, by the way. Nose, eyes, and everything. It was, it was, it was a challenge, but in the end, I got him. Now, I think there's money in him. They'll help me pay rent this month. So we have Ham. He is the Disney Store version of Ham. At some point, I'd like to replace him with the better version. Good old Ham, we love Ham. Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. And like, there's not much I can I can do with him here. Um, he, I mean, I have him, because I think you can see down here. I also have the boxes. I don't know what it is, but I love boxes. I have the potato head box, which is again, really hard to get, but Bunny's in here. So here, here's Bunny uh, from Toy Story 4. Uh, he's huge, like <laughs> he towers over almost everyone here. I'm so sorry guys. We have Bo Peep's box. Again, super rare item to have. So this is Lotso Hugging Bear. We'll put him on here. Oh God, that's Lotso's box. So I have the box for Jesse, I kept that nice and safe. What I'm about to show you now is my most expensive Toy Story toy ever. This here is Stinky Pete. <laughs> There has been many, many Stinky Pete's floating around the world, but there has never, ever been a screen accurate Stinky Pete. This is all custom made. It's got a sound box in it. It's got a stand. It's got everything. But look how incredible. It, like, it looks like it was from Thinkway Toys. Like, it, it is just the perfect Stinky Pete. This is my complete collection. Insanely excited to show you guys this. The thing is, there are still so many more to get. So let's go on the laptop and see what I've got left. As promised, let's check out how much it's going to be, maybe buying them all. Check out how much it's gonna to be to finish my Toy Story collection. Again, like these are the most expensive items. These, some of them just don't exist. Like they, they will have to be custom made, but let's just scour the internet and try and find them all. So Rex usually costs around 500 to 600 in the box. To be fair, to be fair. Okay, so 450, 450 out of the, we want them in the box. So we don't, we're not locking it out of the box. For 500 pounds, which is crazy. It's 375. That's because the box is damaged. Let's add that to basket. Next, I'm gonna look for the bucket of monkeys. Now, I think this is gonna end up being a custom made job. Snake, and again, still nothing. Let's look for Dolly. She's sitting at 130, which, is actually, which isn't too bad. It used to be 400, so she's gone down. Here's Dolly, no inbox, 500 pounds. There's one here for 400, but still out the box. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh, it's so expensive, it hurts. Perfect, 100. That's actually perfect. And that's a basket. Go. Oh, pickle pants. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cheap alternatives. There's the Disney Store one. There's the, just the standard soft toy version. But we want inboxed 100 pound. That's actually perfect. Okay, add the basket. That's that's amazing. So let's go for Buttercup. 
that's really good to know. So here, so Buttercup again is a very expensive one. He's about 300 in the box, 550 in the box, 580 in the box, 600 in the box, but there's one here for 300 and that's still boxed. Still Toy Story collection, add that. So that's, pretty, that's actually really good. Uh, Mr. Robot, Toy Story. No, it doesn't look like it. Mr. Shark? No, no, it doesn't. That's a custom made jobby again, okay. Find Stretch, who's the octopus from Toy Story 3? No, I thought not. No, these are crazy. Okay, so that's gonna be custom made as well. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Toronto or Tor Toronto or Tor Toronto. It's from the Studio Ghibli films and it, the, the toy isn't custom made for Toy Story. It's just a, a character from a different film that she owns. And I reckon it'll be about 10 inches, maybe more. As I say here, 15 inch kids toss. <gasps> I think I found it and I think it's cheap. That's it. That's, that's literally it. 300, of course it's $300. Of course, of course, like what was I expecting? Of course it's gonna be super expensive. How big is that though? I don't want it to be too big. 30, 30 centimeters, what? No, that's not big enough, is it? 30 centimeters is quite big. It is pretty big, isn't it? Steph, in that drawer, in that drawer there, there's a ruler. Oh, that is pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. And if he's thick as well, because he's like 40 centimeters thick, that's fine. Okay, you're right. Right, so. This is where we find all the amazing, very talented creators out there, artists that design their own Toy Story toys. On Etsy, we have, oh my goodness, <laughs> 200 pounds. One package. And he's packaged, so that's always good. So add him to basket. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we've got a bucket of monkeys. Oh, no one's made a bucket of monkeys. There you go, if there's a creator out there who wants some quick money, for people that are obsessed with Toy Story, make a bucket of monkeys and we're sorted. So what we do have here is a Mr. Spell. So that's 117. Mr. Spell was a main thing in Toy Story 2 where they tried to find Al's toy barn. Oh, we have the hockey puck from Toy Story 1 here. 90 quid. That's pretty cool. Nesting dolls as well. Again, these aren't released. These are just custom made designs from all these incredible creators here uh, and then we've got mr robot which is another toy that i've been desperately wanting which is a 400 pound that's a killer that's an absolute killer and then we also have the creator that i got stinky pete from this guy is incredibly talented and what he's done is he's got a mr muscle for sale who's in toy story one for 750 us dollars and i also need trixie Trixie will be about nine hundred dollars. Seven fifty. Add nine hundred. Add. Also, we need a ham. We don't have a a a life size version of ham yet. So that's going to be another three fifty. Three fifty. <laughs> okay, that's just for the custom made. Two grand for the custom made. Shopping basket up for Etsy, which comes to about one thousand and 10, add the eBay 1,003 pounds. That will be a total of 4,013 pounds to finish my Toy Story collection. And that's still with a few others missing. So we've still got like peas in the pod. We've still got stretch. I, I mean, I've got to finish the collection, right? So. Rest assured, I will be purchasing these at some point just when I accumulate the money. Gonna take some time, but I'm desperately in need of completing my Toy Story collection. Don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.